For my number four game of 2021, we are continuing with some very action focused design. And while this one may kind of skirt the line of what Metroidvania is compared to Asylon Tears of the Earth, which was number seven, Uncited is just a very highly tuned action game that if you get into it, you're going to find one of the best of the genre released in 2021. Unsighted is one of those games that depending upon how far you play into it will most likely dictate what your thoughts lie. For those who only play the opening, they probably found just an okay but very high skill focus action game. For those that made it to the arrival of the real timer countdown, they probably got very frustrated with the game and could have stopped playing it. For me, we played through the entire game, we got the good ending, we kept everyone alive, and we did a whole lot of hacking and slashing along the way. And Unsighted is a very well-made, very finely tuned action-adventure game. And just like Web Yesterday, it's very hard to get a game to like this state in terms of refining the game feel. And Unsighted certainly worked along those lines. It has some really impressive pixel art and pixel style cutscenes. And it is probably in terms of the games in my top five this year, the most technical in terms of getting the moment to moment gameplay. It is a hard game and we only play it on normal. At some point I need to go back and play it on hard. What makes it get to the top four for 2021, again, is that moment-to-moment -moment gameplay and just how well developers built a core or foundational set of skills for the player to use and then grow that over the course of the play. You can move, jump. If you're good enough at the game, you can do wall jumps and even sequence breaks that were built into it. And you can tell that the developers of Unsighted really get action gameplay with even having a reverse boss order challenge for people who really, really get into it. So what stops the game from getting higher, as we get into the top three for 2021, it's not a case really of games being better or worse. It's just a case of, you know, one game doing its own thing better. And I think that's kind of where I fall with Unsighted. I still feel like the real timer added a very unnecessary layer of stress to the game. And despite the fact that you can, well, largely ignore it if you know what you're doing, it kind of clashes with that sense of exploration. And that's kind of a mainstay of action adventure style games. I don't know if I would call it a full on Metroidvania, as most of your upgrades are of the combat variety that have a second utility. It's not the same as completely changing what you do over the course of playing the game. But if you are an action game fan, especially a high speed action game fan, then you owe to yourself to play Unsighted and definitely get into the uh, spirit of parrying and dodging <laughs> for your life. But with that, it's going to be time to start our top three tomorrow. So come back for daily discussions. Check out our Discord and Patreon link down below. And be sure to let me know what you think in the comments. But until then, take care.